Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, <clears throat> I just want to quickly discuss about this um, bug that Watchdog has on, well, as far as I know, on the PS4 version. That if you're trying to say uh, load up a save game, uh, it stays stuck at 90% on the loading screen. Um, this happened to me a first time. Uh, it uh, actually has happened to me to, um, twice, but the first time that it happened to me, I was really frustrated, and I tweeted on Watch Dogs, and I let them know about it, and they said that they're fixing it at the moment. And I said, okay, so then um, what I did was I uninstalled the game, I reinstalled it, and um, when I started up in, uh, the game again, uh, it did the same thing. It just got stuck about 90% at the loading bar. And so I said, you know what, I'm... I got frustrated and I just deleted <clears throat> my uh, why well, should I didn't delete but I, I, uh, I started a new one hey what's up everybody uh, <clears throat> real quick I just want to talk about uh, this little problem that watchdog is having on the on their game where it's uh, when you try to load up a save file uh, it just stays stuck on the loading screen about 90% and a lot of people are having this problem and it happened to me twice the first time you know I tweeted about it and then they told me that they're actually fixing on it so I said okay so I figured I just gonna uninstall the game and reinstall it again and <clears throat> see what's gonna happen well after I did that uh, I did the same thing again so in my frustration what I did was I uh, pretty much started a brand new game alright I started a brand new game and I got as far as I could uh, before I actually had to you know I passed out and went to sleep and hopefully the next morning I said you know the game's not going to do the same thing and it didn't so I was thankful for that but one thing that I did notice was that um, my notifications it just said um, it said that the watchdog saved data a game could not be uploaded you know so it's happened to me a few other games too before I don't know because you don't have enough memory or something like that but on the online storage so um, what I do is that I manually go into the notifications and I just uh, manually upload them right and so when I uh, did that that morning, um, I started a brand new game again, and I played for a few, and then I I stopped, and when I went back to play again a while later, uh, same thing happened again. It got stuck on the loading screen, and I was really mad. I figured I had to start all over again because I got really, really far into the game. But uh, one thing that I noticed about um, that came to mind was that in the notifications, when it came up saying that that it couldn't upload uh, to the online storage it reminded me let me know that I have online storage so I said you know what let me do something so what I did I deleted my save game right that means there's I deleted it all then I actually went into my um, uh, my settings okay I went into my settings and when I went in there I went into the system storage application and application save data and right here you can see uh, I have save data into system storage and then save data with the little PlayStation Plus sign on there letting you know that as a member you have online storage so then I went into it and uh, you know I just delete and download well I went into the download system storage you know after I deleted uh, my save game on on Watch Dogs after I had that little problem and I went to watch it and I realized there was an online storage on it that I had previously done that morning. Remember when I told you that I went to notification, uploaded it manually. And I noticed there was a watchdog save game on there. And this was uh, on, um, on on the 2nd of June, uh, but earlier that morning at 2.30 in the morning. And I realized that was the last time I, I played where it was actually a good file before I should have got corrupted later on on that day. So I said, let me copy it. So what I did is I went like this and I... I went into it and I went to like you know download and after I hit download um, it started downloading into the system and once it downloaded into the system now I had a saved data back into this uh, PS4 um, hard drive and I went back to the game and I went back into the game and I said like alright let me see if I can start it up again you know so I went into the game and I said hopefully it's gonna work you know Cause that's that's the last time I actually remember there was actually a good save file that I actually could start up and load it up, you know. So um, after I waited, it, it it worked, you know. So I'm not gonna show you that it actually worked right here, you know. But I'm just making this video to let you know that you can try doing that, you know. I mean, you can actually save files into a USB thumb drive, you know. 
And until they've actually fixed this, I would actually recommend doing that. Like, save a, a, a file where you're actually able to load it. I mean, if you go into Watch Dogs games and, and load it up with no problems, that save file right there is really, really useful. So what you do would do is just, like, basically just copy it. As you see me do it before, like, you know, I grab that. And you'll see uh, uh, where it says uh, copy to USB storage. And just do it. Just copy it on there. And that would be a nice clean file. So in case it does happen again, you can go back to original file. But, like I said, you can also do it a little bit more further on. Uh, save the game again when you're about to exit. And go back into it again. Like before, like you'll stop playing. Get out of the game. And once you're at in the exit, in the, in the menu, go back into it again to see if it's actually a good file. If it is a good file for that, then just save. I mean, just, just copy it into a USB drive, a flash drive. And at least if the save file on the system gets corrupted, you have a backup. You know, not only online storage if you're not a member. But also you have it on the side of the USB drive, you know, so. But one quick lesson I learned from that is actually from Final Fantasy 7 on the PS, the, the PlayStation, you know. Um, if you overwrite your own save data on Final Fantasy 7 and you wanted to go back to a certain part, you couldn't anymore because you overwrite your, your save data. So what I did was I made multiple, multiple saves, like, on different slots. I mean, I had, like, about 20 saves. And once I got to the normal room in it, I... I overwrite it the first one, you know, and that's helped me a lot through a lot of games, you know. So I don't know if this was useful or not, but um, just thought I'd put it out there. I know some of you are frustrated, and hopefully Ubisoft um, will will fix this little problem though they're having. No, but overall, I um, uh, hope you guys still enjoying the game. Until next time.